Hi everyone, it's good to be back today. I bring you good news from South Korea, the world's most innovative country and the home of digital and medical technology. If you're interested in fully funded undergraduate or graduate program or you're looking for postdoctoral um, research positions or short fellowship as a professor, this video is for you. For those who are new on this channel, my name is Ulumi White Bala Jodi. Uh, please do not hesitate to hit the subscription button and also share the videos on this platform with your friends who might be interested in studying abroad for free. Just last week, the 2022 Global Career Scholarship application came out and I've been struggling to push this video out due to the fact that I've been busy with classes here in UBC and today I made up my mind to just finally push out the video. The GKS program is personal to me because I won the scholarship worth over 50,000 Canadian dollars in 2013 for my master's program at Beijing University, South Korea, which changed my life. In this video, I will show you how to apply for the GKS scholarship as well as how to submit a competitive application. First and foremost, a lot of people disturb me about how to navigate this GKS website. So the first thing you should do is to type in your browser, studyingkorea.go.kr, and then you can see the page. Here you have a list of notices. You can see a revision of 2022 GKS graduate available department for Busan University and also Seoul National University. Click on notice to, to check for more options and you can see the 2022 application guidelines for global career scholarship for undergraduate degrees as well as graduate program. You can decide to click on the undergraduate if you're interested in undergraduate degree program or click on the graduate degree program. Then you can see um, a list of I mean, you can see the details about the scholarship as well as how to download the application guidelines as well as application form, university information, promotion, I mean, promotion poster. I've compiled all these application documents and guidelines and you can see it right in the description um, section of this video. So you don't have to check on this website to download this document. But again, if you have the time, you can as well um, check on this website to find out how to go about downloading the document um, for the scholarship. The objective of the GKS scholarship, this is the 2022 guideline, the objective of the scholarship is to provide international students with opportunities to study at higher education institution in South Korea in pursuit of academic degree, which will enhance international education and you know foster mutual relationship between South Korea and participating country. Universities in South Korea consistently ranked in the Times Higher Education World University rankings in 2021, for instance, seven universities universities in South Korea were in the top 200 um, universities. So what are you waiting for? In 2022, the GKS program aims to invite about 1,378 international students who wish to pursue a graduate level degree in South Korea, master's and PhD. So if you're interested in master's and PhD in STEM and non-STEM, this program, this scholarship is for you. And if you are an aspiring postdoctoral scholar, a lot of people reach out to me that they are looking for opportunities to do to, to carry on as a postdoctoral research fellow abroad. This opportunity might be for you if you are also a professor in your own country and you need a short visit of six months to one year, you can apply for this scholarship. The duration of the program for master's is one year of Korean language program, which I did, plus two year of two years of the degree program. For the doctoral program, you have a one year of Korean language program, which is compulsory, plus three, three years of the degree program. For research program, you have six months or one year of research program if you are interested in the scholarship. So if you're looking for postdoctoral research position or you're a professor, you have the opportunity to apply um, 
to universities in South Korea under the GKS, the Global Career Scholarship. The benefit of the scholarship includes number one, the airfare, you have economic class flight ticket covered to to Korea and back to your home country when you're done with a scholarship. I flew an Emirates airline for the first time in my life, courtesy of the South Korean government scholarship. You have this settlement allowance given to you upon your arrival in South Korea, which is about 190 US dollars. I don't know the conversion today. Um, you also have the monthly allowance of 1001, which is about 950 US dollars. For those in research, you have 1.5 million won, which is probably around 1200 us dollars i don't know the conversion today but it's a huge amount of money especially looking at the cost of living in south korea medical insurance is provided for you the language training fee for one year of compulsory korean language um is provided you don't have to pay for the language cost tuition is covered oh my god my tuition then uh, in the semester was about four thousand five hundred um us dollars so tuition is covered for you up to 5 million korean won and also korean proficiency grants of 100,000 won is covered if you have level 5 or 6 in korean language for the research support fee for those in liberal arts and social science you get 210,000 korean won for those in natural natural science and engineering major you get 240,000 korean won for thesis printing fee this means that if you write your thesis and you print it out they also reimburse um, the printing cost, which I also got back during my time. Then when you're done with the program, you get 100,000 Korean won as a departing gift, as well as uh, the departing flight back to your own country. With the two years for master's, research master's in Korea, or three years of PhD um, research in South Korea, you can explore any part of the world because the research in Korea is top-notch, is engaging, and it's intellectually um, engaging. So it helps you to be creative and it helps you to be smart and it helps you to acquire a lot of things within a short while. And in most cases, you do not need an English proficiency test. Again, you need to check out this guideline as we um, go through the scholarship um, together. So to apply for the Korean government scholarship, there are two tracks. You have the embassy track and the university track the embassy track um gives you the opportunity to apply to at least three universities um in south korea but if you're applying through a university track which means you are applying through a university route you are contacting a university in south korea you're sending your application to them you can only apply to one university if you're applying through the embassy embassy route you can apply through the korean embassy in your own country and you can choose three universities but you're sending your application document by in person or email to a university in south korea as the university right entails you can only apply to um, one university the quota for the embassy track is a total of 648 where the total for the university track is a total where the the quota for the university track is a is a total of 730 which makes up the grand total of 1378 i went through the university track am i biased against the embassy track maybe but i mean it might be something you want to try if you think it works out for you but i always encourage people to apply through the university track because even at that point you might establish a contact with a future supervisor which eventually if you don't get the scholarship you can you know get a supervisor funding there are uh, 56 universities in south korea which you can apply to like i said embassy track you can only apply to three universities submit your application to your, the korean embassy in your own country university track you can only apply to one university in south korea you can now apply concurrently via the university and the embassy track if eventually you didn't make up the embassy track and there is still a chance to submit your application to the university track then it is possible so if you have about 50 um, six university which you can choose from Academy of Korean um, University um, Chong University Dongguk um, University um, KDI School of 
public policy for those interested in management. I recommended KDI to a lot of people. Again, the scholarship covers STEM and non-STEM from science to non-science, from life science to um, engineering to um, natural science to education to psychology to whatsoever you name it. So they are all represented in each of these universities, which we will talk about that later. Yeah, most of this universities. A few of this university might actually um, be directed to a particular course. If you're interested in tech, it might be like you want to choose a KAIST or something. But again, when you're selecting the university, you have to be very careful that you have the, the required documents that could make you competitive, which we'll also talk about during the course of the video. Uh, like I said earlier, Embassy Track applicant must choose three in different desired university and available department among 59 um, universities listed above well i haven't seen 59 university i must indicate at least one university from type b research program applicant can apply to all universities in type a and b so read the document very well decide which type do you want to apply um to type a or type b for the embassy track you can apply to three universities and you must include at least one university from type b so be very careful when you are selecting the university to apply. For the university track, those universities are also replicated. You have general, you have regional. You can read about that in the document. And they recently added R&D institutions. Like if your major is towards R&D, you can also apply to um, some specific university. They just added R&D to the program this year and it, it's going to focus on curriculum and field experience in research institutes and industries. The major goal of the program is to attract um, talented scholars in high tech industry to be beneficial to individual future um, career. Let's go straight to the quota by each country. How many quota are available if you are from Ghana, if you are from Nigeria, if you are from Ethiopia, if you are from Egypt, if you are from Morocco, if you are from Hong Kong, what are the quotas that are available? At least on this list, we have 136 countries represented. And so, if you are from, for the embassy track, if you are from Algeria, for instance, you have only two um, slots. If you are from Nigeria, uh, for the embassy track, you well, you only have six um six slots. So imagine having um two hundred candidates applying to the embassy track in Nigeria, and they only have opportunity for six persons. So you have to make a decision which route you want to apply. Um, true for people from India, they have twenty two slots for the embassy track. If you're from Israel, you have three slots. I'm um, from Croatia, you have one slot. Argentina, you have three slots. From DR Congo, there are three slots. From Malawi, there's one slot. From Malaysia, if you're from Malaysia, there are 18 slots via the embassy um, route. For the university um, route, um, from Malaysia, there is um, 34, um, you know, quarter allocated. If from Nigeria, there are 10 slots, which means that together with the embassy and the university track, there is opportunity for 16 people from Nigeria to get into the um, Korean government scholarship for graduate or program. If you're from Ethiopia, there are eight slots. Um, if you're from Indonesia, there are 42 slots. If you're from India, they have 30 slots for the university uh, track. Um, for R&D programs, like I said, this is a new program that was introduced this year. 100 scholars irrespective of, of the countries which they are applying from would be selected. So if you are interested in data science, I've gotten a lot of inquiry about data science. This is an opportunity for you um, at Shannam National University. IG University, you have computer engineering, seven slots. Um, if you're interested in bar system engineering, mechanical and aerospace engineering, AI convergence engineering, chemistry, electronic um, engineering, um, material engineering and convergence technology, nanoscience and engineering. The list of schools are all here. And in the document that I drop in the description section, you can see the PDF of the schools that offers the this, this scholarship. And another thing, if you could not have access to those documents, you can write the schools 
um, separately to ask them to send you the application document. If you're interested in physics, chemistry, future vehicle program, industry and system engineering, school of computing, you can apply to KAIST. You have seven slots. Kimian University Pharmacy. If you're interested in wood and paper science, forestry, food science, and biotechnology, eight slot at Kyombuk University, Seoul National, data science again, semiconductor engineering, applied artificial intelligence. You can apply to Seoul Tech and um, Sung Chung Hang University, um, life science, if you're a microbiologist, a biochemist, or you know anything that deals with life science, software convergence, future convergence. You can also apply to this university, a total of 100 slot. From R&D programs are assigned, you know, to this specific university. So if you are related to R&D and is listed, please you can reach out to those universities or check the PDF or the link I, I dropped in the description section to assess the PDF of these universities, and you can check when the uh, application um, deadline is, as well as what is required for each of these universities. A typical example of what you would find in um, the folder that I uploaded that you can assess are the list of universities. You have Gyeongsang National University. You can see the list of their programs. Social sciences represented economics, interested in business administration, which is expensive in most um, developed countries. Um, you can get it for free on the South Korean Government Scholarship. Interested in education, you can see they have master's and PhD program. If you're interested in humanities, Korean language, modern literature, if you're interested in German studies, law, um, public law, civil law, criminal law, social law. If you're interested in um, Korean classes in Chinese, natural science, applied life science, including microbiology, biotechnology, biochemistry, um, biomaterial science, um, physics, you can apply to this university, for instance. I have about um, 56 of these universities with a PDF in the folder, so you can download and select which universities you you want to apply to engineering, from mechanical engineering, to urban engineering, to energy engineering, to interior material engineering, to electronic engineering, to naval architecture and ocean engineering, to um, seafood science, and a lot of that you can see on this scholarship. If you're interested in medicine, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, obstetrics, and gynecology, um, dentistry, a lot of medical students reach out to me if, if there is a scholarship in their field. I think this is a very good option for you to um, consider. Like you can see, the application guideline is here, the submission is there, all required documents to arrive um, in South Korea, this office, so um, you cannot send this document online. You can write this school to find out if they also accept e-copy pending at the time that your art copies will arrive and you must follow all the guidelines listed on the GKS guidelines to apply for the scholarship. This is the contact person for the school if you're interested, you can reach out. Another university which I just want to show, um, it's um, the Dongsun um, Women's, Women's University. They have library, library arts and social science, natural science, engineering arts uh, as well as um, program for bio health convergence. So again, if you're interested, you can see the application um, submission deadline. It varies from each university. So you want to find out the specific um, deadline for each of those universities, which you can check via the PDF that I have in the folder drop in the description session. If you're interested in Yonsei University, Yonsei is one of the best universities in South Korea and they have a lot of programs. It's high rank university, so if you're competitive enough, you can apply. I went to the Yonsei University, wasn't close to Yonsei, but again, an average university in South Korea is a top-notch university compared to what is applicable in, in most developing countries. So if you're interested in philosophy, library, and information, science, psychology, Cognitive Science, Korean Studies, Business Administration, Technology, uh, Business Administration, Physics, Theology. Yeah, people reached out to me if there are opportunities for people looking for offers in theology. Yonsei University offers that. It could be um, Philosophy and Religion, Church History, Christian Ethics, Christian Education, Counseling and Coaching. You can, and Coaching, you can apply to Yonsei University for that. And also the application is on. You can check the school page. Um, they said it closes on the 25th of February, but this is based on 2021. So you can reach out to school to find out um, if actually it's, it closes on the 25th of February or maybe it has been extended because the scholarship um, opening was delayed maybe by a week this year. 
And I don't want us in J University, I'm just picking universities out of the 56 universities that it's currently on the scholarship. The NJ University is one of the best universities as well have there. If you're interested in BSED me, um, if you're interested in public administration, if you're interested in statistics, if you're interested in pharmacy, a lot of people ask me for opportunities in public health, so you can apply to um, NJ. Um, education is there, uh, health administration. Um, the application closes on the 8th of April. You will either send in in person or through your email. So you can also reach out to NJ University if you're interested in the application. Like I said, this is just an overview of what you will find in the link I've dropped in the description section for application guideline, application form, the um, university documents that you can just extract, download, and use it. Um, I haven't done with the list of I mean, few of the universities which you can check. Let's go straight to the eligibility. To be eligible for the South Korean government scholarship, you must hold citizenship of NID designated countries that are invited to take part in the GKS program, 135 or 136 countries which I showed earlier. All, all applicants and their parents must not hold Korean citizenship. Okay, you can check through the document to read. Um, for the applicants and their parents who had previously had Korean citizenship must submit documentation that proves that they are no longer Korea citizens. If you are applying for a master's program, you need a bachelor's degree or a level of education equivalent to a higher than a bachelor art degree. So um, for HND applicants, I don't know if this is applicable, but you can you know write the university or the school in question since they said a level of education equivalent or to a uh, bachelor or higher than a bachelor degree so maybe you can submit a worst evaluation because your um, CGPA is, is based on 4.0 which is also captured on the KGSP um, um, regulate I mean requirements you can also ask each of those schools if you are you know eligible to apply for the scholarship for people that are interested in doctoral program you need to hold a master's degree or level of education equivalent to or higher than a master's degree for a research program applicant you must have received an invitation from one of the partner universities so you probably still need a professor acceptance which i always talk about you must have a doctor degree by february 28 2022 for professor exchange um program you must hold a master's degree i must be currently teaching at a university as a professor yes because in korea you probably don't need a phd to become a professor and I'll, i'm not surprised with this um for program for education science culture international cooperation you must hold a master's degree i must be a professional in the field of education science culture or international cooperation if you haven't graduated right now you can apply for the scholarship um but you must show that you would graduate by the 31st of august 2022 um, that makes you qualify um for the scholarship you must be able to submit your final official transcript or um, you know certificate to GKS Center by August 31st 2022 so if you are in your last lap of undergraduate program or master's program and you have one semester to go yes you can apply for this um, scholarship for CGPA um, your CGPA must be above 2.64 if you have a CGP of 4.0 scale, um, 2.8 out of 4.3 or 2.91 out of 4.5. Most Nigerian universities use a CGP scale of 5.0. So with 3.23, which is a second class lower, you can apply for this scholarship. Can you get in with the CGP? Well, it's a competitive scholarship, but there's no crime in trying. If you have other things like GRE publications and you know you have a professor acceptance as well, um, you must have a score percentile about 80% or above and 100% a uh, hundred point scale or be ranked within the top 20% within your, your class. So if you're having to ask for the recommendation letter, your professor must state your um, position in the class. Top 20, top 10, top five, yeah, top 1% must be stated in your recommendation letter. If you do not have a CGPA based on maybe 4.0, 4.3, or 5.0, then you must submit additional document issued by your university describing your university grading system, especially for people um, uh, that, that need medicine and that medicine which the CGPA might not be captured, might just be married or passed. So your university must state um, the equivalent of your CGPA, um, you know, to the South Korean government um, scale. For the age, you must be under 40 years of age, 
it is. You must be born after the 1st of September 1982. And if you're an academic professor applying for the research um, program, you must be from the ODA recipient country, 107, Nigerian is captured, Pakistan, Cote d'Ivoire, um, Gabon, Gambia, Georgia, Ghana. If you are from Cameroon, you can apply for the um, research program. Um, if you're from Egypt, Ecuador, Afghanistan, Albania, Uzbekistan, Venezuela, Vietnam, South Africa, Somalia, Serbia, Lesotho, Liberia, um, Guyana. You can apply as a postdoctoral research fellow or as an academic um, professor on that is South Korean government scholarship. For health, all applicants must be in good health, both mentally and physically, to study in South um, Korea. You have the form H, which is a passing a medical assessment at the time of um, the application. All applicants must have no grant for this qualification, like criminal history for overseas travel, and previous occurring GK also meets the following stated additional um, criteria might be eligible for to apply again for the scholarship. You must hold um, a grade of 90% or more on a 100% scale or be ranked within the top 10% within your class. You can see the list of guidelines um, that are to be followed on this um, page. I've attached the guideline also to the link in the description um, section. Let's go straight to the selection procedure. Um, like I said earlier, you could either apply through the embassy or the university, university track, but don't apply through the through both at the same time. If you apply through the embassy in your own country and they did an interview and you didn't meet up, if you have a university that is still open, yes, you can apply through the university track. Okay, so the embassy track goes like this. You have the first round of selection, the embassy, and they recommend candidates, and then to NID, and you have the second selection of you know, the embassy track candidates, and also you have the third round of selection of the embassy track candidate, which afterwards it's announced by the government. For the university track, you apply to a university in South Korea, they carry out an interview, they're selected, they recommend you to the government NID, and in most cases, um, if you are um, the top candidate, you might get in, but um, sometimes they recommend more candidates that they can even, you know, um, afford to to recruit so you may not meet up but again but positive like if you apply to the university track if you are recommended then they take it they send it to the government then the government you know choose based on the i mean countries quota how competitive you are and uh, a lot of other things like publications your you know your personal statement how important is your research preference are given to nature science and engineering then after the sele second selection um you know by nid you are 90 percent sure that you get the South Korean government scholarship. So again, the embassy track, the first selection is by the embassy in your own country. They recommend candidates to NID, NID select, then the, the second selection, the embassy track, again, then you through the third selection, which is the university, and afterwards they announce the general um um you know they announce the then afterwards, general announcement is made. First round of selection um, for embassy track will be from February to March, and they send the successful candidate to, to NID in April, and the second round of selection is late April. Third round is late May. There's no third round for university track. Once you get into the second round for university track, you are sure that you will get into uh, the scholarship. You can see the selection guideline here. You can go through the timeline. You can see the selection timeline. Go through them and familiarize yourself with those documents. Documents to submit for the, each university and embassy has their own application document. Yes, the application form, which will go through um, the course of this video. Um, your personal statement, how to draft a personal statement, how to draft a study plan, how to draft a research proposal. We'll go through them. They are all required document. Your master's transcript, your bachelor's transcript, your proof of, you know, um, citizenship, your proof of parents' citizenship, as well as, you know, any other document, your applicant um, passport photocopy, which um, passport copy which must be submitted in photocopied um, document. Again, it's important to note that if you're applying to the embassy, you can apply to, to three universities, but if you're applying to the university track, you can apply um, to one in, just one university. How do they evaluate the scholarship? The review of qualification, um, selection committee will conduct document examination, nationality, a quota, your degree, um, your academic grade is very important and they verify whether you're qualified for the program. Then they begin to 
assess each applicant um, competency if you already have topic like your um, Korean proficiency gives this give you additional uh, points and again um, preferences are given for to overseeing Koreans applicant from low income families under privileged background you can state this in your past in a statement um, preference are also given to applicants who apply for a natural science or engineering department in a regional university so you can check um, the this um, program in regional universities and if you currently teach as a professor in the natural science and engineering department in in one of the ODA recipient countries listed Nigeria Gabon Ghana Cameroon you are also um, given prefer preference for the scholarship if you are applying for a postdoctoral research program again in the natural science and engineering department you have a preference um, the preference are given um, to you if you're applying for um, this program now that you're ready to apply for the program let's check out the application form here you can decide to choose if you're going through the university track you can click or you're going through the university track you can click then you can you should download this form which I've, in, I've also attached to the folder um, the name of university you are applying to you can include it here please write it here um, you can you, it's it's very okay you can delete the stuff and put it in there um, the name of the applicant my name um, um, Yeah, country of citizenship of um, Nigeria then you can just then you can tick on the documents you submit you probably need to um, print out this front copy um, you probably need to print out some um, this front copy um, which is like you know it's just a checklist um, the second the form one uh, your emb university or embassy track again then are you applying to a uh, general or R&D university original university or research or of overseas Koreans, Korean language teaching professionals, desired field of study, natural science, art and sport, education. If you're applying to an educational institution or educational field, I can click on this. Are you applying for master's or doctorate degree? Doctorate degree, I click. And then you fill in your name here. My first name is Ulumu You are here and put your uh, given name, middle name. Um, make sure after you finish this form, you can uh, print it out, attach your passport photo here, or uh, and then you can you know attach it. Then you can send it to Korea, and if they allow you to send e copy, depending on the time the ad copy will be with them, you can you know scan this and send it to them. Korean citizenship, no. If you applicant parent, uh, Koreans, you can click yes. Current or previous, you've never been in GKS before, or you've been a Korean government scholarship. You can click on yes or no if you are a new applicant you click on no contact information your address um contact start with your country phone number if you're from nigeria uh, plus 234 um email put in your email correct email address because they will reach out through the email uh to you if you are selected then your topic level if you have it you can put it if you do not just omit it your english proficiency test if you have done ilts you can put in your score academic background your previous degree the university university of fmri location nigeria major microbiology or biochemistry if you've graduated put the date degree thesis title that is your bachelor thesis published books or journals you can put it awards list all of them it helps you those are for bachelor of degree required for all applications for master degree um, these are like um, bachelor degree required for all applications for master degree required for doctor and research applications put in um, your um, previous degree your master's degree um, your university your location your major your degree thesis title published books for doctoral degree this is required for postdoctoral research program applicants so if you are not a uh, postdoctoral research applicant do not feel this but if you are a master's applicant you must feel bachelor and master's degree so again um, if you are a postdoctoral research applicant you must feel all but if you are a master's degree applicant you must feel this if you are a doctoral degree applicant you must feel this and this so please don't confuse it follow the um, form pretty well um, information and academic transcript 4.0 or 4.5 or 5.0 indicated here if your transcript does not indicate a 4.0 or 5.0 scale you can put it here over 100 
and then the GP indicated on your academic transcript you can see it from first year one and two semesters second year third year fourth year please indicate them appropriately choice of university and department this is embedded track which you can choose three universities in the case of universities department you can only choose um you know um you can choose three different um departments in three different universities but you cannot <clears throat> choose three different departments in the same university for university track like i said you can only apply to one university among type a or b um attention embassy track must choose three universities university track again must choose one university please make sure you confirm that the university you're choosing is on the program the korean government scholarship because there are several investors in south korea which may not be on this program have you ever visited korea please indicate the time you have formats given to you here um make sure you sign that all those documents are true for the personal statement which is a big deal for the scholarship and i said i was going to talk about how to make your application competitive please indicate the motivation why you are applying for uh, this scholarship your educational background you must indicate significant experience you've had that has been a significant influence on you extracurriculum activities if you have a community service like i'm a founder of scholarship cafe i post scholarship you can put up there um, you can describe awards or publications you've had so this personal statement needs to express your um you must express the importance of why you want to study in Korea. I've made several videos, I've made several tweets on personal statement and videos on personal statement. You can check it out. Please talk about your educational background. Don't bring in emotional story. Talk about motivations why you apply for the program. When I applied for the South Korean government scholarship, I made sure I talked about how I love the Korean movies and tradition and I talked about my research so far and I spoke I mean I wrote about how I was the the general secretary of my CDS group in um, NYC during NYC how I led several street campaign against women trafficking and child labor and I talked about my you know experience in terms of you know molecular skills and why i want to study in south korea i mentioned the fact that i understand how to do cloning in the lab and again i've exposed to bacteria culture but i can't you know continue to um further my masters because there is lack of sophisticated equipment and korea is one of the best countries in the world so you can talk about your motivation which is Okay, you can describe a problem statement that you want to solve. Um, you need to be realistic. Maybe it's cancer immunotherapy, or you, you want to address antibiotic resistance, or you want to address the problem of political unrest. You know, maybe you're interested in political science. You can talk about those motivations, then go straight to your educational background, your degree so far, the experience so far. You can talk about your thesis, um, your undergrad or bachelor thesis, undergrad or master's thesis, or you know, PhD tests, what you've been able to, you know, contribute to knowledge. If you are a scientist, your contribution to science, and this is limited. It's about, um, it must not exceed two pages with front times Roma 11 size. So please make sure it doesn't exceed two pages. Write something that is catchy. Write something that you can be proud of, starting from motivation, why are you applying for the Korean government program? Why are you applying for the Korean government program? You can talk about Korea being one of the best country, the world most innovative country in terms of research. They are top notch. Their university is in top. They have seven universities that are in top 200 universities in the world. They invest so much in R&D. You can talk about your education background, you watch the experience so far, your bachelor thesis, like I said, um, your grade, um, what you've been able to contribute to science or um, knowledge and talk about your previous event, the previous experience or event that had a significant influence on you. You can connect that with your extracurriculum activities and then you can talk about awards and publications, your communication skill, your interpersonal skill and you know the skills that you've acquired that would make them select you for this scholarship. Please and please I'm begging you make sure your personal statement is concise it's straight to the point and do not use big vocabularies make sure um someone that is not even in your field can you know understand what you're putting in your personal statement again your personal statement must address your motivation for the gks program which is probably because korea is one of the best countries in the world in terms of r d in terms of research in terms of you know technology you can also talk about you know 
they have universities or the particular universities you are applying to they have excellent research faculties and sophisticated tools and equipment and uh, you know in terms of diversity in terms of their rich culture and tradition then go straight to talk about your educational background like um, your um, previous um, research experience why you study your major microbiology biochemistry what is the experience so far if you have molecular techniques you know expertise you can put it in there and experience you've ever encountered if you've had an emotional experience yeah you can put it there but be very careful be very strategic it could be an experience that you know someone close to you um, was affected by a particular disease which brought about you going into that field or a particular experience that shaped in your future that that motivated you to apply for the program then talk about your extracurriculum activities um donation of blood yeah it's part of extracurricular activities are you mentoring people it's part of extracurriculum activity are you on twitter retweeting scholarships it's part of ex extracurriculum activities it's all about the way you sell yourself so believe you are an asset like i'll always say um address your expertise from the position of strength the next form is the study plan what are the plans to improve Korean language ability um, in South Korea or English? Um, yeah, for the language study plan, you can talk about the fact that you're looking forward to studying the Korean um, language program. You can also talk about the fact that maybe you started learning Korean online or you started watching Korean movies and songs and you are, you know, excited to um be in South Korea and you're mentally ready to get into the language schools to start um, the program. And after, I mean, this is just something that is very tricky. The, what they want to see is that you're mentally ready for the Korean government um, scholarship. You're mentally ready for the Korean language class because most classes in South Korea could be 100% in Korean. I wrote my final Korean, my final graduation exam in Korean. You have to be mentally I'm ready for uh, the program. So the goal of the study and detailed study plan, this is why I always tell people to look for professors. If you get a professor acceptance, you can draft the study plan together. What is your future study plan? What do you want to do? This is more like a research um, proposal. So you can write a goal maybe to um, characterize a particular um, strain or characterize a particular gene or you want to address the problem of air pollution or you want to address the problem of um, you know contamination of soil and water so this is just like a mini proposal and it must entail the, your goal of study and the detailed study plan when you talk about a detailed study plan is that the first one year is going to be dedicated to um, literature review then the second year is going to be dedicated to experiment but again i always encourage people for the goal of study and study plan please if you it is possible for you to get a professor acceptance yes it will make your life easier. It will make your journey easier. You can write the goal of study and detailed study plan with a professor. You don't want to write uh, a, a goal of uh, a study or a research proposal that is not applicable to the Korean system. You, As a Nigerian, you do not want to write a study which is applicable to the Nigerian system and you want to go and carry it out in South Korea. So you want to be sure that a university you're applying uh, to have the tools and facilities or they already have a research you want to plug in. In terms of future plan after the study, this is just your long-term goal after GKS. You want to become a professor of zoology, professor of botany, professor of education, professor of economics. Yes, you can put it there. And um, for me, I wrote that I was going to return to my own country after the Korean government scholarship to become an ambassador of the Korean government um, program. Yes, I'm teaching online in Nigeria now. I'm, I'm living the dream. So please be realistic, put in, um, you know, um, words of what you want to do after the GKS program. You want to continue um, to the doctoral level as a master's student or you want to continue to postdoctoral level as a uh, you know uh, after your doctoral program if you're a bachelor um you know student or a bachelor applicant do you want to do a master's after your bachelor uh, program the next is research proposal which is for people applying um for the postdoctoral or professorial uh, position recommendation letter it is very important here you need to print out this form to give your referee and your referee should 
um, you know, complete a form, put in their name, country of citizenship, the CR degree program, and they must be able to comment on how long they've known you, um, what is your abilities in terms of strengths. And here, the recommendation letter, it is very, very important. I always tell people, please do not just get recommendation letter from a random person. Make sure the person can comment on your academic achievements, your um, interpersonal relationship, your communication skill, your ability to adapt to a new system. And when they give you this recommendation letter, make sure they sign at the back of the envelope and they seal it and they, you know, um, sign uh, at the back of the flip back of the envelope. For the embassy track, Please print this out or make three additional copies of the letter you wrote and sign all copies. That's the Form 6 is letter of invitation for research program applicants. We are applying for postdoctoral or professorial um, visiting position. It is now applicable for those applying for undergraduate or master's program. You need to agree to all this um, GKS applicant agreement and um, you also need to fill in the medical um, assessment. Do you have allergies? Yes or no? You must fill that in. You can print out this form and you can take it. And you afterwards, you sign um, the document. So this is the Korean um, government application form, which is important for you to fill. Please fill it um, appropriately. Make sure there is no mistake if you need help. There are several videos out there which could also be of help. Focus on your personal statement. Focus on the study plan. Um, this personal statement um, is 11 points. Your study plan is 11 points. Um, your research proposal, which is now applicable to those um, in um, applying for master's or undergraduate um, degree. So these things are witty, contributes to the evaluation um, process. So for the tips to apply for the scholarship, one, you can contact your desired university in South Korea, get a supervisor. I always encourage people, get a supervisor in advance. The program is very competitive. Imagine having 500 applicants applying for a 16 slot from Nigeria. That means it's very competitive. So the essence of getting a professor is one, it could help you write your goal and research study. You can write it in a competitive way. And in most cases, if you don't get the scholarship, the professor can provide you personal funding, like um, Professor Funding Korea. A lot of Korean professors are looking um, for graduate student in form of master's or PhD. So please get a professor in South Korea. I didn't get a professor when I was applying. I was lucky. I was 2013, which it was less competitive then. If you have publications, it could also be of help. If you have GRE, if you have ILTS, the question might be, why would Korea need IELTS? Well, in most cases, there are, you know, um, situations where there is a tie and this might serve as a leverage uh, for you. And um, please just do your best. Apply for this scholarship. It is very competitive, but if you get it, people are getting, I know a lot of people that got it on Scholarship Cafe Radar last year, and I'm so happy that, you know, they're doing well in South um, Korea now. For the undergraduate program, I've also um, attached the list here. For the undergraduate um, scholarship, uh, I'm not talking on this because I have a video dedicated to the undergraduate scholarship um, in South Korea. But the difference in the 100 slot uh, program this year is that um, the undergraduate program is university track based. So you can contact a uh, university in South Korea. There are a list of universities also in the folder which are created the GKS undergraduate and graduate. You can see it in the description session. So you can apply for the undergraduate program via university track only. There is no embassy track for this new uh, program, for this new street stream of program. Please and um, please I beg you, check the guideline. It is easy to go um, through. It is easy to understand. Take your time to apply for the scholarship. And there's the question um, about, okay, um, the Korean government um, requested for um, certified or notarized uh, document. You can confirm from your university if the university can waive you 
it for you in the first selection. Uh, in most cases, they might not. And if you are in Nigeria, you might have to go to the Federal Ministry of Education and straight to the Korean consular in Abuja to notarize your document. You do not have to submit the original copies of your certificate. Make a photocopy, take it to the, to, to the embassy uh, with the original. They will notarize it to be true certified copy. If you are not from Nigeria, you can check the Korean consular in any of your countries, your country of, of current resident, call them to find out how you can, you know, certify uh, your document. If you have further questions about the South Korean government scholarship, please drop it in the comment section of this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with your friends who are interested in studying for free in South Korea and every other part of the world, which I've highlighted in most of my videos. I have graduate school checklist if you're applying um, to any country in the world. And again, apart from the GKS scholarship, there are opportunities in South Korea. All you need to do is to send a code email to professors in South Korea. They can provide you personal funding, which you, instead of do, having to spend three years for master's, you can even spend two years. And I've seen people that even spend, um, you know, two years on their PhD in South Korea. Um, once again, I wish you all the best. Um, if you have any question, please drop it in the comment section. I wish you all the best in the, why you're applying for the scholarship. Again, please reach out to schools in South Korea to know their precise application deadline so that you can submit your application appropriately. I wish you a wonderful time and I wish you God's blessing as you apply for the scholarship. Bye for now.